Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Factor Cat Paranormal Files. My name is Wes. This is Top Shelfers, and in this series, we dive into paranormal videos from across the web and decide whether or not they are fact or cap, real or fake. Episode 50 is here. I really wanted to do a big, long episode, but we're going to have to wait a few. I just wanted to start getting some episodes pumped out again now that I uh, should be on a more regular schedule. Uh, let's just, we'll talk about that in a different video, maybe later this week or the week after. Let's hop into this one. We got 10 scary ghost videos that'll spoop you. Hopefully it's true. Hopefully we get some good ones in this. Uh, again, we have Nuke's Top 5, one of the best. He'll be linked down below. This video will be linked down below if you don't want to hear my commentary. Anyways, let's hop into it. User Cheryl Sweetie 2 on TikTok is a single mother and seamstress who says that she and her daughter have been experiencing strange and unsettling things inside their home. For months, they've been hearing the sound of someone walking in the hallway outside of their bedrooms, and they've found their things mysteriously moved from room to room. Things have gotten so strange that Cheryl even began to worry that they might have a squatter living in their walls. So she installed a security camera so that she can keep an eye on their home. One night, Cheryl's daughter is playing with her toys in her mother's bedroom when something disturbing happens that Cheryl still just can't explain. The young girl walks toward the closet, seemingly expecting something to be inside. And then she just stands there transfixed, almost as if she sees something that we can't. She seems to get a little spooked and leaves, and the closet door slowly closes by itself. TikTok user Cheryl Sweetie 2 has no idea what to make of this video. And about three months later, this happens. Hey guys, um, just wanted to jump on really quick because I had to stop sewing. My daughter just said that something weird really happened and we've been experiencing a lot of strange things lately, just different noises and stuff. Oh, don't mind my mannequins, I sew for a living, so. <laughs> Can you tell mommy what, what you just said? I think there's something underneath the door. Under the closet door. Oh. <laughs> Is that what scared you? It's okay. Everything's all right. What? I'm scared. Oh, 
Oh, come on, come on. Cheryl's daughter seems scared as she says that she sees something just underneath the closet door. But there's nothing inside except for a kind of creepy mannequin. However, the mannequin seems to start moving on its own and falls over, breaking into pieces. Cheryl and her daughter are terrified and they just get out of there. TikTok user Cheryl Sweetie 2 says that she still has no idea what happened that night and that she and her daughter are moving out to stay at her friend's house until they can find a new place to live. The old will. All right, let's well, look. Uh, it's good to be back breaking down some of these. So the first part, uh, I think is kind of simple. I mean, it, excluding the kid just being kind of a kid, right? Like staring at an open door, kind of creeped out by the dark. Maybe there's mannequin heads in there. And she's like, what in the hell is mom got going on? Um, I would also just for the record be terrified if I just had these horrific looking mannequins scattered throughout the house, right? So there's a couple things here that I want to point out that I'm not quite sure where I fall on this video. First and foremost, I don't think there's anything paranormal going on. Uh, with the door in this first one, if you happen to catch it, I don't know if you guys did, when she opened, when she leaves this room, this door doesn't quite shut all the way. And then it kind of teethers back. And in my eye, that means that maybe there's a window or another door in the house open, which would create like an airflow suction that could definitely close that door, right? Don't think that that's anything too far-fetched to think, considering it doesn't slam and it doesn't also close all the way, okay? Second, and it wasn't closed all the way in the first place. Second, this one is kind of going towards favoring that at least the kid thinks that there's something fucked up going on because if you look anytime that the mom shows the kid she's picking her hands she's like super nervous now this could be the fact that she's on camera um it could be the fact like see she's picking her fingernails she's got like to me that screams that she's anxious about something right like i don't think that she is lying about it her body language she kind of looks like she's like tucked up like kind of you know her shoulders are up she looks like she's stressed so i do believe that that's a possibility that she does think something's creepy going on um think something creepy is going on that's what i said um the only thing here that i just that that really doesn't that that kind of throws me for a loop right Unless they are really that terrified, like you can see that, and I don't know how mannequins work. You can see that the mannequin down here at the bottom, like its foot is already off of the little platform. So I'm assuming that is making it wobbly a little bit, but instead, and I don't know how much these mannequins are. I don't know if they're expensive, if they're cheap, if they're worth anything if these are like three dollars i have no idea and that could play a role in it but she clearly has time to react to that falling and potentially catch it and stop it from like the arm popping off and i know mannequins you can put back together like that's the point but like she could have easily stopped it from falling and breaking apart and having to put it back together so in my eyes that kind of seems like this is staged um and, and and the other thing too is like i don't know i feel bad commenting this just because like there are people who are going through some scary shit and maybe they aren't faking it but kids are so much more versed at TikToking and understand content creating at a younger age that it isn't far-fetched to think that this is something that they're just making for content and the kid is very much involved and very much knows and it's kind of fun i think with their body language i'm gonna have to disagree but i, I don't know maybe if someone wants to follow up on their little TikTok, i think it was linked right here see if she really did move out and go to a friend's place for a little while and actually stay there or if you can really tell that it's some sort of content creation 
I don't know. Horror is pop more popular than ever, and content creation on TikTok and the horror genre is through the roof. So just a little thing to notice, but I don't think there's anything real going on here. Out of there. TikTok user Cheryl Sweetie 2 says that she still has no idea what happened that night and that she and her daughter are moving out to stay at her friend's house until they can find a new place to live. The old Willis place. Urban explorer Robert from the YouTube channel Sidestep Adventures into History is joined by his friend Dan to explore an old abandoned house in the woods near Waverly Hall, Georgia. Dan estimates the house to have been built or rebuilt around the early 1900s, after which it was abandoned sometime in the 1960s. The house is known by locals to be the quote, Old Willis Place, named after Mr. Willis, a man who lived there and presumably also died there. Now, Robert and Dan are determined to find more clues as to exactly how old the house is. They look inside, around, and even underneath the building. Doesn't that look like an early settlement style chimney there? What's interesting is the chimney looks like an older style than the house looks. I'm thinking that this was probably built in the early 1900s. There's a child's spoon. Well, that's cool. How old do you reckon that is? That's old. It's not silver, it's, it's brass, silver plated. Oh, look. Look, uh, look at the entire stump. Looks like it was cut down, I guess, with an ax. Let me set the light down. I'm gonna touch it. This is an old tree right here. That's for sure. Yeah. But while inspecting the foundation of the old Willis place, the two explorers are suddenly interrupted by something downright creepy. Either this was a one-room house, or it was a two-room house with a dog trot all the way down the middle. It's kind of hard to tell from here. It's uh, been a lot of pillars were placed under here. Yeah. A lot of floor supports. So that's a 1958 Coke bottle, right? What is that? <laughs> Oh, that's weird. Here. here. That is strange. You heard that, right, Dan? Yes, I did. <laughs> Strange. Sorry, I thought I saw something like right here, but you heard that, right, Dan? Yes, I did. <laughs> that was weird. All right, that's gonna. That's enough of this old house for a minute. We're gonna go look at something else. All right, uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, so I hope you guys have... Robert and Dan are taking a look underneath the house when suddenly they hear the eerie sound of footsteps on the floor right above them. What is that? <laughs> quickly crawl out from underneath the house and look inside, but there's no one there. Then while filming the outro for the video, a loud bang is heard from the old Willis place. All right, uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Um, so I hope you guys have... The two explorers are a bit creeped out by the bizarre experience and decide to just get away from the house. They explore the area a bit more and then head home. So could it be that they accidentally captured a paranormal event on camera? Could it be the ghost of old Mr. Willis? You can watch this entire exploration, as well as many more surveys of creepy and historic abandoned locations over on the YouTube channel, Sidestep Adventures into History. We need scary That's a super dope video. Um, 
I really want to dig into these guys' content a little bit more. Obviously, there was footsteps, right? Like, <laughs> there's no way it wasn't. And the way that... It, was it the older fella or the younger fella? Fucking army crawled his ass, <laughs> like, in reverse, out from... Under okay, so that was the younger man. That is a hustle, right? Like, that's not just a, a a little bit of a, okay, well, maybe there's something. Like, his ass was moving with some conviction. That is a good good thing, right? Now, let's talk fake. You definitely could have a third person there. There's lots of places to hide out of point of view of the camera. The, for sure. Right. And it could have been someone that walked in this room parallel and they don't show in there first so that whoever it is can wrap back around the building, whatever it is you want. Who knows? OK, uh, those are things that you have to keep in mind when we're talking about the paranormal because of the content world we live in. I, for whatever reason, just kind of think that these guys aren't going to do that. You know, it, 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 let's see. The hunting house, darkest place I've ever been. Died in a sand pit, searching for old bottle dump gone wrong. Forgotten freed slave community found in the woods of Alabama. I mean, it kind of seems like some of this is pretty crazy cool that they're exploring um you know the, the, they're definitely exploring places that you would think might have paranormal related things going on you got graveyards you have plantations you know you you you're at places that would probably be haunted if we believe in that um I just don't know anything about their channel yet, and but I am going to be doing some digging just because the, the whole idea is kind of cool. I, I I am a fan of urban, ex, urban explor, exploration. Jeez. You can tell it's been a minute since I've done one of these because I can't fucking speak. Uh, but yeah, I, I the, the footsteps are clearly there. I don't think it's edited in given his reaction. That was my first thought because it does sound like a very atypical paranormal like sounding footstep. Like here, I'll replay it so you guys don't hear it. House for a minute. We're gonna go <coughs> from here. It's a uh, been a lot of pillars replaced under here. Yeah, a lot of floor supports. So that's a 1958 Coke bottle, right? <laughs> what is that? <laughs> Like I, I just don't think that reaction is really fake. Like even the old man's fucking coughing, hustling to get up there. Like it, it just doesn't seem really fake. I, I don't know. It could have been a fucking animal too, but it does sound more like a two, st like a, a bipedal, like doom, doom, doom. Where I think if it was like a a grizzly or a bear or something heavier that would make that loud footprint, you'd hear. Dun, 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 dun. Unless it was walking on twos, but they would have heard fucking whatever the animal would be. I'm sure if they ran in there, they would have heard it scatter through all the leaves. <sighs> kind of an interesting one. I like it. I, I Not enough to say, but a good one. This next video was shared to the internet by Reddit user Lauren Constantino from Auburn, Pennsylvania. Lauren says that she has recently moved into an old early 1900s house that she shares with two roommates. Late one evening, Lauren is hanging out when she spots her roommate's cat in the hallway and decides to take a short video. But as she's recording, she spots something very disturbing. Did you see it? For just a fraction of a second, a distorted face appears right in front of the cat. Shocked by what she captured, Lauren posts her video on Reddit in the hopes of getting some answers. But Reddit users are quick to point out that the face looks like it could have been made with some popular common face filters. 
but Lauren says that she wasn't using any kind of app or filter. She was recording directly from her iPhone's camera. But what is truly bizarre is that this face doesn't look like any face altering, makeup, or face swapping filter was used. The face is odd and twisted and has hair, eyebrows, a nose, and mouth. And even creepier, half of another distorted upside down face seems to appear right beside it. So just what is this? I leave it up to you to decide. The router revenant. She's laughing. It's a filter. Reddit knew. I know. Everyone knows. It's a filter. A Jet Bueno is the proud new owner of a small internet cafe in Marilao, Philippines. Late one night, a Jet's girlfriend, Jen, drives over to the cafe to catch up on some important paperwork. Jen is completely alone with only their cat, Bulog, to keep her company. What happens next is truly bizarre. Phones and a keyboard start falling from desks, eventually freaking out Jen so much that she hurries out of the cafe and calls her boyfriend Ajet, the cafe owner. Ajet seems to calm her down enough that she goes back inside to collect her things. But as Jen turns off the lights, one of the chairs quickly slides toward her, scaring her so much that she panics and just throws her paperwork at the chair and runs out. Ajet shares his CCTV footage to his social media and ask people to keep an open mind. Now, Ajet and his girlfriend, Jen, have never posted anything about the paranormal before, and they say they have never experienced anything supernatural until this incident. But is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hope? Hold on. But as Jen turns off the lights, one of the chairs quickly slides toward her. Phones and a keyboard start falling from desks, eventually freaking out Jen so much that she hurries out of the cafe and Sorry, I'm trying to Okay. Right here, I know that there's the date it was recording. You see how there's something in the mirror right here? So, mirror right here, it's not her. 
Because in the other frame, she's not in it. Maybe it is her. Yeah, maybe it was her. Never mind. Are down enough that it was there, and they say they have never experienced anything supernatural until this incident. But is it real, or is it all just an elaborate hoax? You decide. The goodwill goes. That's that's a tough one. That's another tough one because if it's a hoax, I don't think that she's in on it, right? Because it, it just, especially this last part where some like the chair moves and it's kind of hard to, oh, it's the chair that's over there. It's like it gets pushed out. Is hold hold on. The the black and white or whatever color it goes to really kind of fucking makes things weird. It's like, what is that? I know that's her paperwork, but why is it so dark like that? Hold on, let's let's slow this down a little. Yeah, it's almost like it gets enveloped. You see that? Okay, so chucks it right there. And then when it hits, it's like <coughs> almost completely black. Right? Hmm. So you can see the chair slide out. She freaks out, chucks it, and just fucking dips. I'm just trying to see if there's anything that I could. I mean, one of the things that I could think of is like, if whoever was in there last, like everything was just on such a, like right on the edge or sitting kind of weird in the door and it's windy, like a wind gust or something, but she obviously would know that. If we're talking faking, I mean, we can't see anything over here in this corner where there's another desk. So there could be someone over there pulled this first mouse, has a wire that's pulling that and wiggling the table. And then for the conclusion, kicks out the de the chair that's over there. If we're talking faking... But I don't know. She she plays the part really well if it is a fake. Because, like, she wants to get the fuck out, right? Like, you guys ever have that moment where it's like, you either watch, like, a horror movie or you just think of something creepy and then you got to walk up the stairs from, like, a basement and you just really want to get the fuck up those stairs because it's just... It's not that you're necessarily like really freaked out, but you're like kind of freaked out. And you just want to get it over with. Like that's kind of the vibe that I'm getting from her. She just like, okay, this was three things. I'm freaking out. No, it's not the fucking rats. I'm going to leave. And then a fourth thing happens and she's just like, fucking yay. Like I, I could completely understand that being freaked out. Ah, oh, man. It's a pretty great video. We got some really good ones this time around, and I just, it, it's tough to say, because that's a lot of paranormal in one little, you know, however long period this is. I guess we could see exactly how long it was. 1, 12, 12. When is 1, 14? 1, 18? 
So all of that happens in the matter of six minutes. Hmm. That's crazy. Right? You know, what's weird is that almost makes me believe it kind of more. And the reason being is like, she clearly came to do some shit. Say what's up to the cat. The cat's just vibing. Right? Counter comes on, yeah, 112. So within, within six minutes, four paranormal things happen, and she dips the fuck out. I don't know, guys. I don't know. That's a pretty goddamn good video. I think it definitely can be faked, for sure. And I don't think it would be hard to fake it. But given her reaction, I don't know. Like, I also kind of fuck with this whole entire thing, like this internet cafe. You got some anime. There's one piece up on the wall. You know, you got your gaming setups. Like, that's pretty dope. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go on the fence on this one too, man. It's a good one. Was in a royal. You decide. The Goodwill Ghost Doll. TikTok user James Fodder bought a very creepy doll at his local Goodwill. At the time, a store employee warned James that the doll's previous owner was in a rush to get rid of it because she believed it was very haunted. James didn't believe in the paranormal and knew the doll was worth quite a bit of money. So he bought it and took it home. That's when he realized that he had made a huge mistake. James began to hear voices. The doors in his home started to open and close on their own. And scariest of all, he started seeing strange shadowy shapes around his home. James decided to place the doll on a chair in an empty room with a motion activated camera monitoring it. What he captures is downright creepy. We've seen this. camera moves around as it tracking movement somewhere in the empty room, but nothing's moving. Then a small dark shape can be seen quickly moving across the floor in the hallway behind the doll. James explains that the camera only moves when it senses physical motion, so he has no idea why the camera would be moving when there's nothing there. Another night of filming, and when James checks his camera footage, he is shocked. The camera still moves all around, seemingly tracking something that we can't see. Then the doll seems to just start moving all on its own. James says that he was a skeptic before all this, but that he now 100% believes that the doll he brought home from Goodwill has a paranormal entity attached to it. But what do you think is happening here? Is it real or is it all just an elaborate hoax? 
you decide. I think you did too much. I, I do think that it's a hoax. I, I've i broken that video down a couple times, or at least once. Maybe it was on a live stream or a podcast or something. And I just, the little scurry thing across there, that's silly. And I, you know, I've fucked around. I'm trying to grab something to show you guys. You know, I've fucked around with a bunch of different things. Like, I got a Dybbuk box right here that was waxed over and supposed to be cursed. Um, bought it off of some witch on eBay. Nothing happened. I got the fucking cursed book now. That's supposed to tell about some haunting doll and that like when you get this book and read it, you're supposed to know about it and knowing about it like kind of fucks you up. Uh, you know, I just I've done stuff like that. I, I mean, I think I have even have within arm's reach. Yeah, got a Ouija board in arm's reach. This shit's fucking chilling i mean i i've done dumb quote unquote dumb stuff from certain paranormal groups of people i've never come across anything that i would say is a haunted item now i know that that is a very popular thing especially if you start talking about what the what warren the warrens had like the annabelle doll and now it's there's a whole museum of haunted items ran by zach bagans in vegas and post malone touched one of them and had this weird string of bad luck and i just don't know if my interests and potential beliefs on this stuff stretch that far um i do still believe that you know my 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 idea on paranormal in general is the energy imprinting uh theory that i've kind of come up with and i guess that that definitely could be imprinted on items but i don't think it's going to be the typical stuff if it were to be anything right like like you're just you just happen to have one of the creepiest looking dolls and it's also haunted like you know like you just it's called playing the game and you're playing it right like and, and, and you know the other part of this story that doesn't add up is that he bought the doll from goodwill and then says that the owner wanted to get rid of it Motherfucker, if it was that goodwill, you would never know who the owner is because it's a donation system, dingus. You don't know the owners at goodwill. They get donated to goodwill, and then you go find them in an aisle. Duh. Kind of fucked that one up too, didn't you? So I think it's just camera work, editing, the typical. Fake. In the footage. A motion-activated security camera outside their home senses movement. Elaborate hoax. You decide. The trespassers. This next mysterious video was shared to Reddit by Raphael H445, who claims that his sister recorded the footage on her property. Late one night, a motion-activated security camera outside their home senses movement. The CCTV records two trespassers standing at the property gate. The homeowner heads outside to demand that they leave and clicks his car alarm to activate his truck's headlights. It lights up the two strangers as clear as day. 
but when he yells for them to leave, they don't move. Then the man heads for his truck, reaching inside and flipping on the headlights. But the trespassers have disappeared. To this day, the family has no idea who they were or what they were doing there. But most disturbing of all, where did they go? Graveyard Flyer. A while that's pretty creepy. <laughs> that kind of gave me a tingle down my back, man. Because you can almost still see when they get flashed up here, you can still see the full outline, right, of both of them. And he's like, hey, get out of here. Maybe talking some shit, like, what are you doing? Fuck around and find out, bitch. And then he lights them up. Gone. But even when they're gone, you can still see, like, something there. Right? Like, you can still fully see stuff there. Like, honestly, it looks like they're in, like, normal clothes which is kind of cool because a lot of stuff it's usually like weird paranormal almost looks like he has like a jacket there's a head maybe a hat definitely legs maybe shoes you can see some pants jacket maybe a head yeah i mean that looks those look like full bodies man arm here head somewhere here dude i don't fucking know dude it almost looks like it like it was some fucking like Invisibility cloak shit, bro. Ah, oh, that's so creepy. Like, what? Like, there's for sure people there. God, I wish I could interview some of these people because you could... Detect the bullshit a mile away within like two minutes of talking to someone about it. Do they just look like they gone? Wow, this is one of the best top ten videos that we've watched. Yeah, top tens that we've watched in a long time. I love this one. I don't know what the fuck I'm looking at. It could be edited, right? Like, okay, we got... Let's talk about fakes. <laughs> Definitely could be edited, right? It could be... How would you edit this? So you could have two... Let's say you had two people there or you imprinted two people on the post of this video and then as the lights turn on, you fade them into, like, uh, transparency and you keep them kind of transparent there and then when the lights go on you make it go more transparent. So like you could do that. That definitely could be faked. I'm not saying it isn't, but really weird video. I like that one. A while back, we featured a video by ghost hunters David and Dell from the YouTube channel Signs and Signals. In the video, they visited what is said to be a haunted church and captured multiple encounters with a creepy shadow figure. Did you used to play piano here? We would love to hear you play again. David and Dell decided to return to the church for another investigation. 
but this time their plans aren't to investigate the church. Because you see, just outside the church is an old cemetery with graves dating back to the early 1800s. The guys decide to investigate the graveyard for any paranormal activity. And at first, they... I remember these guys because I was making lots of jokes like, Brother? Don't really experience anything. Is anybody out here? So the guys decide to split up and explore the cemetery separately. As David wanders alone through the graves, he sees something that he just can't explain. I swear, I keep thinking that I hear something. Oh, Had him spell. Bird. I'm pretty sure I just saw something go. To, I don't know what I saw. It looked like a shadow or something go to that bush. A shadow going to the bush. I don't even know. I don't even know how to describe it. It, it was like a shadow. It's over here. It's over here. The bush. The bush. The bush. The guys search behind the bush and even inside it, but there's no evidence of whatever the strange flying black thing might have been. Then Dell makes a disturbing discovery. There's a tombstone in there? There's a tombstone right here, dude. Look at that. There is a tombstone. 1842. Dude, that is freaking crazy, bro. The bush that the strange dark shape flew into is actually the marker for a grave dating back to the year 1842. So was this bizarre shadow figure one of the spirits that haunt the old graveyard? Maybe returning to its grave? And if not, then just what is this? Let me know what you think. It, re it looks really dumb. It looks like really poor attempt at something. I don't know. I don't. I can't remember last time that we watched these guys if I said it was complete or bullshit or not, but this one makes me think that it is. That's kind of silly looking. Strange on their ring doorbell camera. It's a little after four in the morning when a translucent shape appears out of nowhere and seems to activate the ring doorbell six times before it moves away and disappears. Now, usually I would just write this off as a spider web that's too close to the lens, but a spider web can't ring a doorbell six times. And also this thing seems to react each time the doorbell rings. Then it just moves off and disappears into the night. Again, not really like a spider web. So could this be a paranormal event caught on camera? Or just what is going on here? Let me know what you think. Through the roof. Dude, I don't know what. It almost looks like a reflection of the recording. I. I'm pretty perplexed by that. It's a little UFO. Uh, I, mm, I don't, I don't know what I'm looking at. It looks like, hmm. It almost looks like it's a reflection of a light or something. Like, I don't think that that's a paranormal entity. 
there's not I think it's just a reflection. And the noise that it's making, is that the ring doorbell going off? I are we sure? I've never heard a ring doorbell sound like that, so Late one night, Shally and her daughter Melody go outside to take a look at a group of cute cats that have gathered in the yard outside their home in Indonesia. Hell yeah. Then things take a very creepy turn. Did you see it? Someone or something can be seen standing on a rooftop right in front of them. Shally doesn't see it and is confused as to why her daughter is so upset. It's only after posting the video to TikTok that viewers tell Shally there was something on that where roof. But what do you think this is? What are you circling? What am I looking at? Let me know. But you know what, dude? I don't see anything. That's a pole in the wall. What do you mean? <laughs> Did you see it? Someone or something can be seen standing on a rooftop right in front of them. Shally doesn't see it and is confused as to why her daughter is Yeah, she doesn't see it because there ain't shit there. What are you guys talking about? Is so upset. It's only after posting the video to TikTok that viewers tell Shally there was something. It's the wall. And that's like a pole. Is that about like this gray part? No. On that roof. But what do you think this is? Let me know. Un and Man, that... Talk about a reach on that one. I don't see shit. That's dumb. Invited. Popular Korean ghost hunt live streamer Michael from the YouTube channel Docha Michael explores an abandoned house that is said to be haunted. When Michael arrives at the location, even before he has a chance to enter the building, strange things start to happen. Where? 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 Wow. 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 As soon as Michael starts recording and is just about to enter the old abandoned house, a wheelchair starts to move all on its own. Now obviously Michael is shocked by what he just witnessed, but he has no idea that things are about to get even creepier. Something seems to pound on a door, catching Michael's attention. Then the door suddenly swings open on its own. Creepiest of all, whoever or whatever was pounding on the door seems to be hiding behind a curtain and quickly moves away. When Michael runs over, there's no one there. Just an empty room. 
Later into the investigation, Michael finds a mirror on top of a- I mean, we're gonna say one thing about Michael right now is if this is real, homeboy's got some big balls. Cause that's creepy and he just ran in there like, ain't shit happen. <laughs> Makeup table. This is when things get downright chilling. The ghost hunter stumbled. He was about to shit his pants and something was walking up behind him. What the fuck? Like suddenly starts to growl from hunger and he is so distracted rubbing his belly that he doesn't even notice that someone or something is walking up right behind him. But when he turns around again, there's just no one there. Michael has no idea what he just captured on camera. He continues his exploration of the creepy abandoned building. Now Michael hears a sound coming from the same curtain he filmed earlier. When he gets close to the curtain to find an explanation to the strange sound, this happens. Something seems to punch at Michael through the curtains. Understandably, he is terrified by the strange attack and makes a run for it. So did Michael capture evidence of something paranormal? Damn! For the last video, it's a good one. Um, where do we begin? So the wheelchair one's interesting, because, I mean, it is, it is fucking moving, for sure. There could be someone behind it pushing it. That's, I mean, you guys have seen some of the editing skills that people have nowadays. Wouldn't be hard to edit a frame of it sitting there and then start editing it back again with the person leaving as he kind of pushes it away to get out of frame. I don't think that that would be too difficult to do, but it would take a lot of effort couple different takes I guess same would go for this one right like the way that he enters that room to film someone could push this open right here and you wouldn't be able to see their hands and then when he goes in there right like someone could have yanked it you see some indentation of what looks like a potentially someone in there but when he walks into the room, actually, hold on. Hold up one second. Did I see something? Did I catch a goof? Did I catch a little goof? Slow down half speed here. Who are you? So this goes over. It does almost look like someone's arm yanks it from up here and then goes across that. And he's all like, fuck it, we're going in, boys. Charges in. Nope, I did not see a goof. But if you see with how his camera is... Nice shoes. Um, the way that he like angles his camera, he angles it down. Right? And then there is enough time... I'm trying to see how wide open this site is. Hmm, maybe not. Eh, maybe. I was thinking that there was enough time for 
like he angles down in that room makes some noise and then whoever is behind there can sneak past the edge of it back to the room that he was just in i don't think that'd be hard to do and the way that he holds his camera down kind of makes me think that that is how they got around filming that. This one it could just be really good editing. It is super creepy that his stomach's growling at the same time that someone's walking up to him. Maybe the ghost is trying to give him some diarrhea. You give him a nice grip right in the fucking ass cheek and then he just shits his pants. I don't know what's up with this, like, forced first-person perspective he keeps doing with his hand. Like, maybe that's part of his content. I don't know. The thing is, is like, someone could be back here again, and they just push the the curtain, right? Like, it's not this crazy thing to do. It is a good video, though, and it looks like... Oh, this is Nukes. Sorry. I was going to say, it looks like this guy has a bunch of shit on his channel, but... I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it's if it is fake, it's really it's done really really well. You know, it edited really well, but it is pretty creepy. That was the last video again. I do want to thank uh let me get back up to full speed here and let Nukes kind of give you his outro. Oh, this is Okay, so this is his stuff. English sub Sadly, I'm not going to be able to read any of what these are. But he gets some good views, man. A couple 20Ks. And then this is new. Be sure to hit subscribe and click the little bell notification icon so that you never miss a video. Also, follow me on all them socials. And uh, say hi. Say yeah, go show some love over to Nukes Top 5. He, I, I will say this forever and ever. He they if it's him or a team they are one of the best at compiling paranormal videos from the internet and uh i i think that it's super entertaining and he does a great job at finding ones that not other people could find without further ado thank you guys so much for watching i hope you have a wonderful rest of your day hopefully we'll be back on a weekly basis at least with this series and uh yeah i will catch you guys on the next one Peace.